Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing787.com doing a video showing you the easiest and latest method to root your Samsung Galaxy S4. It's very simple, so uh, it's not going to take up much time at all. Also wanted to make a note that no data is going to be wiped at all, so you don't have to worry about backing things up. I do recommend doing a backup just in case, but again, you really shouldn't have to worry about any data being wiped. This is going to work for all Qualcomm models of the Galaxy S4, so any quad-core uh, Qualcomm processor models, so Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, all going to work just fine. Um, I have a full list of compatibility on my website listed, so you can check that out. If you're uh, curious, if you have an Exynos processor, this method is not going to work. I'll try and get a video up soon for that one. Anyways, uh, first step, go ahead and swipe down, go to Settings, and then go ahead and go to More. Once you're under More, scroll all the way down, go to About Device, and then go ahead and you'll see build number right there. Quickly tap on that seven times um, and it should say developer mode enabled. Then now you'll see developer options actually in uh, the settings. So go ahead and go to developer options and they are on. Go ahead and check USB debugging and hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is checked on your device. Once you've done that, we're ready to go just about. We need to set some things up on our computer and then we can go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need to do now is click on the link in the description of the video. I have a couple downloads on my website that you are going to need to download. And clicking on the link is going to take you to my website. It will look a little bit more refined than this. I, uh, this is just a temporary article. But scroll down and you'll see two downloads. You need to download the drivers and install those on your PC. So that's the first thing to do. Go ahead and click, uh, click on this, download the drivers, and go ahead and run them. I don't think I've actually ran them on my PC, so I can do that. But uh, go ahead and run through and make sure you have the drivers installed on your computer. It shouldn't be too difficult. Just run through the installation process and install them. I'm going to do that now because I do need to do them that as well. And while you're installing the drivers, you can also go ahead and download these root files. So it says, um, it says might not have installed correctly. I think I already have them installed, actually. So I'm just going to close out of that. Uh, but you also see root files. You need to download those as well. So go ahead and install the drivers on your computer. And then go ahead and download these root files uh, onto your PC as well. That second download, the, those root files, is going to be called Moto Chopper right there. Go ahead and create a folder on your desktop. That's what I recommend doing. Just go ahead and hit right click, hit new, and then folder. And then you can just call it something like S4 root. That's just what I recommend. Once you have that folder, you can double click on that Moto Chopper, and inside you'll see a Moto Chopper folder. Click and drag that folder into that S4 root folder, just so you have everything in one place, you know where it is, and then double click on that S4 root folder. So here we go. This is where you'll see that Moto Chopper folder once more. You can double click on that, and inside of it, you will see a bunch of different files. Uh, we are actually just about ready to go to get things started. What you can do is actually, you'll see a batch file. It's called the run. What you can actually do is right click on it, and hit run as administrator. That is what I recommend doing. Go ahead and hit yes. And here we go. So you will see a shout out to Dan Rosenberg for getting this going for us. So you'll see uh, it's, it lets us know that it actually works on Motorola devices, but it also does work on the Galaxy S4. So just kind of keep that in mind. You do not have to worry. I'll show you that it works right now. But now what you can do is actually grab your phone and plug it into your PC. So go ahead and plug your S4 into your computer. If your PC go, goes ahead and installs drivers, let it let it install the drivers actually. It's going to take a bit of time. So let those drivers install, especially if you haven't had them installed already. All right, so my drivers have installed. I'm ready to go. It'll, you'll see press any key to continue. Just go ahead and press any key. It says waiting for device. It says the computer's RSI key. Do you want allow? Just go ahead and hit OK. Allow USB debugging via that computer. So it's good that they have that on our device to make sure that no, compu no computer is trying to gain access like that without our permission. It says exploit complete. Please, please enter to reboot and exit. Press any key to continue. And then it should actually reboot our device, and we should be rooted, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So um, it's going to go ahead and reboot our Galaxy S4 now. Let it load on up. The first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual because it pushed those files to our device. But uh, once it is booted up, I will be right back. All right, so my phone has now booted up, and that should be just about it. We should be fully rooted. To double check, go ahead and go into your app drawer, swipe over, and you should see super user in your app drawer. So uh, that should... That should be it. To double check and make sure you're rooted, you can download an app called Root Checker Basic. Uh, it's free in the Play Store. Go ahead and go into it. I hit agree, hit OK. And what we can do now is just press verify root access, press this button right here, and allow it super user permission. So the super user request will come up. Go ahead and press allow. 
and then it says congratulations, the device has root access, and that's it. Your device is now fully rooted. Uh, you're ready to go, Galaxy S4 fully rooted. Um, you can go ahead and access system files, you can do whatever you want to it. You do not have a custom recovery yet to install ROMs, etc. if you're looking to do that. I will uh, post a video in the future once it becomes available to flash a custom ROM on the device, once the developer gets it going. So expect that video in the future. Be sure to subscribe to me so you don't miss it. I'll also be doing a video right after this, actually, on how to get free Wi-Fi wireless tethering. So I'll link to that in the description. I'll upload that as well. So uh, hopefully you can check those out. Uh, please subscribe to me if this video helped. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.